Hi. In this video, we will show you how to set up MRP Easy. We will demonstrate how to enter parts and products, purchase terms of your parts, bills of materials and routings of your products, import data, and enable additional functions and manage users. We will enter a product wooden table, which is made of four legs, one tabletop, and half a liter of varnish. It takes two operations to make one table. These are assembly and painting, for which we have three woodworks stations and one painting station. First, let's create our parts and materials. Let's go to the stock section and add a new item for the table leg. We will create a new product group called parts. We will define our unit of measure, pieces. The safety stock level is 40 pieces. We will mark this as a procured item and set a default storage location for it and hit save. Now we will define the purchase terms. First, let's add a vendor, wood, ink. We can also predefine a default lead time for this vendor and other properties. Now, for the table legs, let's enter the price of one piece and a minimal order quantity. We will add another purchase term for a discount price when a larger quantity is bought. The table leg is set up. Let's set up the item for the tabletop. We will copy the table leg item and only change the attributes which are different. Lastly, we will create the item for varnish. We will define a new unit of measurement, liters. We purchase varnish in bottles of five liters. We will set up the purchase terms so we can send our vendor a purchase order in units of bottles, and these will automatically convert to liters in our stock management. Before we continue to enter our products, we will define our manufacturing resources. In MRP Easy, we call these workstations. We will go to the Production Planning section and Workstation Groups tab and define our two groups. We have a woodworks area with three stations, each with a default hourly rate of $150. And we have a paint room group with one station with an hourly rate of $120. Now we are ready to enter our product, its bill of materials, and routing. We create a new item in the stock section.
Let's create a new product group, Products. After saving the item, we can add a bill of materials and a routing. Let's create the bill of materials and define what each table is made of. Four legs, one top, and half a liter of varnish. And now, let's add a routing. The goal of the routing is primarily to provide grounds for the scheduling of the capacity of our workstations. Each line of the routing represents one production stage at one stop, a machine or work area, with an estimated time that it takes at that stop, the costs, and default workers. The assembly operation is performed at one of the workstations from the Woodworks workstation group. It takes 30 minutes to prepare for production and then it takes two minutes per each table. The painting operation is performed at a paint room workstation which takes five minutes per station. Now our product is properly defined. If you have a multi-level product structure, Setting this up is simply a matter of defining the subassemblies as separate items with their own bill of materials and then including them in the product's bill of materials. For a simplistic example, let's say that we sell a package of two tables. For that, let's create an item. In its bill of materials, we will add two tables. And that's all. In the routing, we define the package operation And we are done. It is also possible to import your data into MRP Easy. We can import items at the Stock Items section. Let's use the sample file from the user manual. Since our file has headers, we will mark this selection. All columns in the import file must match the correct data type in MRP Easy. There's a detailed description available for each selection in the user manual. We have imported the list of items, stock quantities, the cost of these items, and one vendor for our parts. Next, we will import the bill of materials and routings. We will do this from the production planning section. Again, we will use the sample files from the user manual and then match appropriate fields.
We see that we imported two bills of materials successfully. Let's import the routings. Again, we will use the sample files from the user manual and then match appropriate fields. and we have successfully imported two routings at once. In addition, it is possible to bulk import vendors, purchase terms, customers, and other types of data from spreadsheets. MRP Easy Professional and Enterprise plans have additional functionality that can be enabled in the settings. You can manage the users that access your account any time in the Human Resources tab of the Settings section. It's possible to define in great detail the specific access permissions of each user to make sure that everyone has appropriate permissions. If you are on the free trial, you can freely add new users, so please feel free to add your coworkers. If you have already subscribed, then you can add users yourself and the software will automatically bill you accordingly. Thanks for watching.